thought we'd get everybody out relatively early and then we can all talk. Uh, my next guest has won Oscars for a short called The Critic and his funny movie The Producers. Mel Brooks has always been known as one of the funniest people around. No one ever thought anyone would ever trust him with making a movie. <laughs> he was one of the creators of TV's Get Smart. He started in a very funny movie of his own called Twelve Chairs. And now he's, uh, well, if he never did anything but the uh, incredible 2,000-year-old man, he would be justly famous. But anyway, uh, let's take a look at um, this scene from the producers, which if you haven't seen the film, will probably upset you in some ways and make you laugh in others. And until you know what it's all about, it must be astounding to just see it like this. Will you uh, take a look at the scene from Mel Brooks, uh, the producers? Here is the man who gave us that, for better or worse, Mel Brooks. Good evening, ladies and germs, and welcome to a Bang Up Variety Show presented by four the boys here at the Big DC Show. <laughs> oh, no. We have a swell high-class show tonight, strictly loads of talent, lots of laughs, and I'm going to be your compere. That's French for MC. That's initials for metal case. But I want to tell you... <laughs> <laughs> As you see, Mr. Brooks is just one of the everyday people. Uh, how, how can you come out and do that? First of all, I always feel when that clip was shown once before, it's, it's been seen on television before, there are always a lot of people who... <laughs> <laughs> who, who, everybody, who, who get all everybody upset about it. Everybody got coffee in the green room, but me. Yeah. So I want my coffee. <laughs> Look at the spoons they have. Oh, beautiful. And so, and so I always feel that seeing the scene out of context is very difficult. Are you going to drink coffee right here now? <laughs> A little, yes. Yeah, okay. Um, out of context, out of do, context. Yeah, yes, out of context. Good. Do, do, are good there beginning. other people who want to? Are there, I think... We ought to get George I, uh, and Bill, and we ought to have a meeting yeah. because everything is out of context. There was no reason for Lieutenant Merrick to uh, take command of the cane, as far as I could see. We, oh, uh, we were, uh, you just ask questions, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. How, uh, how did you get people to give you the money to do a movie? You walk in like this. And I don't know. That, that's that an picture. astonishing thing. I, that uh, picture cost about a million bucks. Yeah. And, uh... And in case anyone didn't get it, that was supposed to be... That musical was supposed to represent the worst possible taste in a musical, according to yeah. the plot. We don't need to go into yeah. it any further Well, they that. were trying to put on a flop, and, I, and, mm -hmm. and it backfired, because the, 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 the Jews didn't believe it. Yeah. They couldn't believe that anything like that would be perpetrated on them. Again. Yeah. So they assumed it was funny, and it was a big hit. And that caused a lot of trouble for our protagonist, Bialystok yeah. and Bloom, the, the, the leading characters in, in the film. Yes, film, film. film. Yeah. What were you doing when that, that fertile idea was born in your nimble brain? <laughs> what do you mean, was I wrote it. When it? I know, but I mean, you must have sat down and thought, I, I don't have an idea for a movie yet. And then there was another moment where you did have a moment for an, a movie, an, an idea I was doing, I was, blah, 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 blah. I was doing a show. Mm -hmm. And uh, the producer of the show, Broadway show, said, uh, look, uh, they, they, they want to release, so what are, you, what are we doing next? What are we doing next? Uh, well, well, give me a title. Mm -hmm. I said, we're doing a musical called Springtime for Hitler. Tell them that. <laughs> he said, I, I, can't, I can't tell them that. I said, you tell them that. We're doing Springtime for Hitler. Mm -hmm. So Ed Padula was the producer. He was a little worried. He said, OK. Yeah. He said, we're doing Springtime for Hitler next. And they said, who's in it? They said, well, well, we're not sure. You know, we just <laughs> we we gave, right past them. Eh? We just gave them the title, you know. Yeah. And then about a year later, I said, what a wonderful title. Yeah. Springtime for Hitler. Now, if I can uh, get some idea underneath that, you know, a story or something, mm -hmm. I would be very happy. So I thought, I said, well, let me see. Springtime for Hitler, if it is a show, it's probably the worst show ever in the worst possible taste. And I worked back from that. Yeah. And I thought of uh, a Broadway producer. And then I, I thought of a, you know, the Gene Wilder character, Leo Bloom, and, and from there on it was uh, fun and easy. Yeah. yeah. Is any of your own life in the movie? Oh, all of it. All of it. <laughs> all of it. All of it. it is really autobiographical. Yeah, I see. Because I was with them. I was. No. Because France, 27 days, you know, France. Poland a half hour. <laughs> no more Poland. You know, you're very convincing. Whatever we want, we take. We now in Argentina, all of us. Are you? <laughs> 
too, that you oh, receive yeah. these stolen paintings they take from museums that they go into your collections and... I will not speak unless Herr von Ribbentrop is on my right to protect me from the vileness of your young goy. Wait. <laughs> no, wrong. Wrong. Uh, would you like a piece of goat cheese? Goat cheese? How so? How so? so uh, uh, I have a piece for you. I'd like, where, where is it? It's right here. Is it really goat cheese? Yeah, it's really good. Did you want to split it? It was in my lunch. And I know how you like goat cheese, and I... I'll have a little bit. I brought that for you. Hmm. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's feta no, why, cheese. Wh it's what? Feta, feta, F-E-T-A. Greek cheese, goat cheese. Did they have that in Yugoslavia when you were making your film? Wood. We ate wood. <laughs> That's the had nothing. I see. <laughs> there was nothing to do at night. There was no fun. Tito yeah. had the car. <laughs> Okay, we will be right back after this message from our local stations. 